How y'all doing? It is another Wealth Wednesday. We are back again, right? So last week, just to reiterate, we talked about soul purpose, which is the one thing that you'll do if you never got paid for it again, but you'll still do it because it's your passion, right? That's what we also call desire. And your human life value, what you are without any of the material things, your cars, the clothes, the shoes, the money, your phone, everything that you are without all those things, that's your human life value. That's what you can still give to other people um as an asset right so we're gonna go a little bit deeper about your soul purpose and actually define what that soul what that passion is or your desire right and the reason why we have to define that desire is because that's what you're going to concentrate on wholeheartedly in order to fulfill your life all right so when we define that desire we define it in six different steps the first step what is the one thing you want the most Right. Why do we ask ourselves this question is because when you want to when you look for the one thing that you want the most, you start to create an emotional connection. Right. Because like we said, that's your passion. That's what you feel deep inside that. You know, this is the thing I love. Right. For me, it's real estate. It's helping people. It's being there for my family when they need me and me giving them any kind of advice and all the other tools and resources, the human life value that I have when I can. Right. It's really being me being a mentor also. Like, I love mentorship, and it's crazy because I didn't want to do it at first. But, like, that's my human life value. That's my sole purpose, right? Then, our second connection, our second question, what will you sacrifice in return? <clears throat> so, a lot of times people think that you can give and, my bad, that you can get and not give. And that's the problem because nothing, you can't get something for nothing, right? Whether it's tangible or intangible. That's why I put these two up here. You have to sacrifice something in order to get what you want. For me, in order to get into uh, Real Wood Crafters, I had to sacrifice my time and my effort in order to get them value back. So they paid me and gave me experience in an in a area of expertise that I wanted to learn in. Okay? So you always have to give something in order to get something back. Three, definite date of achievement. So when I told y'all about my Ferguson job, I said by the end of July 2022, I would know whether I got the job or not. It was definite. I got the call. I got the call a week after, but the definite date was by the end of July, twenty twenty two. All right. If you don't set dates for your goals, then you will never achieve them because you never put yourself on the timeline. Right. Every time we take a test, you're on the timeline. You know you only have so much time to study. So what you do is you either study harder or you even wait to the last minute, which you shouldn't be doing anyway, and you cram. Right. But you know you only have so much time for that test because the test is at ten a.m. the next day. You can't change it. The, t the teacher's not going to change it. So you make sure you do everything you need to do in order to make sure you're as prepared as you have as you can be for that test, right? So you need that definite day of achievement so you can create a timeline for yourself, all right, in order for you to achieve your definite desire, right? It's help you concentrate on that definite desire and know that you only have so much time to focus on it. Next, a definite date, a definite plan to achieve the goal, right? The reason why you need a definite plan, and even if you don't know all the details, do as much research as you can possible on the internet to find all the details you can. Go talk to people who you know have done it before and put together as much information as possible so you have a, 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 a somewhat path, right? All you need is some kind of a road and trajectory because you had no trajectory. All you're doing is this. You're flying all over the place thinking that, you know, you can hit this point and hit this point, but you have definite milestones. You can see the progression that you're making in achieving your goal, right? Then you need to write out the clear, concise statement of what you uh, what it's going to take for you to make this a reality, right? So the reason why we do this step right here, step number five, writing that clear, concise statement, is because it gives you an important visual in order for you to help, in order to help you transmute your desire into reality. You need that visual. So my desire statement is. My goal is to be the college which begins the revitalization and injection of resources back into Tuskegee, Alabama slash Tuskegee University. I am willing to sacrifice my time to seek out true knowledge, master myself, the leadership of people, and all limiting beliefs which seek to induce fear. I will achieve this goal by August 1st, 2023. The plan to attain this goal is through concentration of effort, time, and resources, commitment to the attainment of this goal, no matter the obstacles I must circumvent, and consistently working on my five pillars to achieve one tenth of a percent of growth every day. And a harmonious collaboration of a mastermind group must also be established to compensate for the inadequacies that I have and to induce infinite intelligence to, ach 
to assist in our attainment of this goal. We can, we will, we must. We can, we will, we must. We can, we will, we must. We got it. Let's get it. Let's go. So you don't know your desired statement and it is not clear and concise to where you can say it back to somebody else to let them know exactly what you want. I gave y'all my definite date. I gave y'all my desire. I gave y'all everything that I'm willing to sacrifice. And I gave y'all my plan in order to do it. Consistency, concentration, commitment. I'm sacrificing my time to master leadership of people, myself, all of them in beliefs, and to seek out true knowledge. I will reach this goal by August 1st, 2023. Well, you got to put it all together. And once you put this all together, right, we're on step six. Step six is you read it twice daily, and then you meditate on this desire. The reason why you meditate is going back to step five is because you're trying to create that visual. You want to make that emotional connection, create a visual, and then you start to develop a clearer picture of that desire so you can also put better plans into place, all right? So these are important steps for you to take in order to make sure that when you're seeking out a goal and desire, that you're making conscious steps to create and achieve those milestones, all right? You're not doing it haphazardly. So one of the other things that you need to do on top of that is create affirmations. Let yourself know that even when, you know, you don't seem like you're quite moving, you create affirmations in order to reaffirm yourself that you are doing better. I have a net worth of a billion dollars. I have inspired people out of masses. I am consistent, confident, powerful, and an excellent conversationalist. My growth and success is uncomparable. I am the catalyst which begins the revitalization and transformation of Tuskegee. I chose calm word worry and peace over fear. Every day I become a better version of myself. Learning and growing wasn't easy, but it was worth it. I chose the happiness of this moment over the pain of the past. Every day I will give 120% effort. These are my affirmations that I say every day to reaffirm my desired state. It does get tough. We're not going to act like it doesn't. Every day is not going to be sweet. But that's why you had an affirmation to let yourself know that every day won't be like this one also. All right? And lastly, continue to do your daily, weekly, the daily slash weekly reflections because if you don't, you will never know where you're at or what things that you need to work on a little bit better, right? It's always something that you may or may not be doing, and that's why we do our, week, our weekly reflections because you can identify the areas where you're still slacking and then make improvements. It's all about collecting data on yourself. One of the biggest things that tech companies do is collect, datas on, collect data on us in order to better improve the algorithms and track us to keep us on the app, all right? So the same way that the uh, tech companies, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, they keep data on you and they track what you're doing in order to monitor when you're on the app, when you're not on the app, and then when to how to keep you on the app so we can collect more revenue. You need to do the same thing for yourself, but for your desires. When you're tracking what you're doing daily, weekly, you know what you need to make improvements on, how to shift your own algorithm. You can make improvements that'll keep you on track towards your milestones. You can make improvements that'll keep you on track towards hitting your end goal by your definite date. All right, so six steps. What is the one thing that you want most in life? Create that emotional connection. Number two, what are you willing to sacrifice in return? Tangible or intangible, money, time, effort, either one. It may, it just depends on what your desire is. Definite date to achieve this goal. You have to create the timeline. If you don't, you will, it will never happen, all right? Definite plan to achieve goal. Order your steps as best as you can in the beginning. And then as you go along, you'll be able to you'll be able to order them better. Five, that clear and concise statement. You need to have that clear and concise statement because it'll keep you, it'll allow you to be able to properly communicate your desire to anybody who asks. All right. And number six, read it twice daily. Twice in the morning, at night, midday, afternoon. It don't matter, but read it twice daily and then meditate on that desire at least once a day in order to truly create that clear picture so you know how to better pursue that desire, how to better achieve those milestones, and how to create that deeper emotional connection because the more passion you feel about something, the more you want to do it. All right? Y'all have a good day. That's class.